I have a question that I really want to answer. Are Sea of Thieves Tortoise actually worth playing? I've been playing Sea of Thieves for a little while now with a bit over 80 hours under my belt and surprisingly, I haven't done any of the tall tales yet. Okay, Cypher so Maiden Voyage. This doesn't really count. From what I've seen and read online, the general consensus seems to be that some of Sea of Thieves' original nine tall tales are kind of mid. And we'll leave you feeling a little bit like this. And man, all I will say is that I'm very glad I didn't decide to try and do this on my own because some of these upcoming tall tales are just, uh, <sighs> yeah, you'll see what I mean. Oh, and for those of you who are new players, this will also be a sort of pseudo guide to help you get through these tall tales and hopefully avoid some of the, uh, struggles we encountered ourselves. Anyway, let's get started. If you're a new player or you're still experiencing everything Sea of Thieves has to offer for the first time, like myself, allow me to give you a quick rundown of what a tall tale is in Sea of Thieves. Basically, they're kind of like the game's campaigns, so to speak. Think Just Cause or Halo. They're a great introduction to the game for both solo players and players in a crew, and they help you to learn the necessary skills you need as well as to kickstart your reputation gains amongst all the various vendors. As a new player, you'd think I would have started my Sea of Thieves journey by doing all of the tall tales first. I mean, logically that makes sense, right? But nope, I went and got the Pirate Legend title first and got the rarest, still obtainable, cosmetic in Sea of Thieves. Because I just got to do everything backwards for some reason. What were we doing again? All right, it's time for... The first tall tale to do is the Shroud Breaker. Starting this one is really easy, as it can be started in any tavern in the game by interacting with the book next to the Mysterious Stranger. Alrighty. Vote for tall tale. Alright, Mr. Mysterious Stranger. Mysterio over here starts going on about how there's this thing called the Shores of Gold and how people have died trying to go there and yada yada yada, we get it. Let alone see. Well, we're about to go see them. I just realized because we we all glow, it's dark right now, but I can still see you guys. <laughs> if it's ever dark, it's like, hey guys, where are you? It's like, just look for the glowing skin. You're not going to see me. <laughs> You're not going to see me either. According to Mr. Anonymous, we need an artifact called the Shroud Breaker to safely reach the island without being, I don't know, blown up or something. Bring it to me and I'll set you on your way to the shores of gold. That's awesome, bud. Can you shut the f up already? He's saying only cool people get the Shroud Breaker. Well, I am cool as f so, while you're listening to the Enigma, you may or may not have noticed a book was added to your quest radio. This is the main mechanic of all the 11 tall tales I aim to complete. A book is added to your quest inventory with information and clues about what you need to do. In the earlier tall tales, the information is very straightforward and to the point, but later ones get more and more complicated as I will painfully discover in due time. Uh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Kraken Vault. <laughs> Great. So, what do we have to do first? Well, the book talks about how the Pirate Lord's ship, the Magpie's Wing, was sunk near an unmarked island by another ship called the Burning Blade. This ship totally won't be coming up again anytime soon. Between the Crooker's Mast and Crook's Hollow. Looking at the map table at the back of my ship, Zavala's secret stash, that would place the unmarked island right about here. N13. Uh, yeah, we pretty much have to head straight ahead. Here's a quick side note for you. If you hadn't noticed it before, maps and CFDs are marked out with a row of letters along the top and a column of numbers down the left side. If you draw a line down from a letter and across from a number, the square they intersect on is the coordinate, which in this case is N13. Take a left here. Trust me, you'll find a secret No, we need, we need to go this way. No, take a left. Trust no. me. Trust me on this one. No. I don't trust you. Aiden is just a sentient GPS. It's it's me, Siri. <laughs> Aiden is just a no, GPS no, with a. No. Aiden is like the the rat tied to the front of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden's just whispering in your ears like, "Go right, go right." Go left, go go. Go left, go yeah. left. Go for a swim. Trust me. Trust me. The water's not full of hydrochloric acid. Trust me. Okay. We. Oh, you, you, you don't need an anchor. <laughs> there should be an island somewhere around here. That's just Sorry. uncharted. Uh, oh, maybe that little teeny tiny one to the left. So the wreckage of his ship is here somewhere, and that has the book inside of it. Oh, this is a pretty island. It is very Ooh. pretty. I say that as I'm underwater. In my little water. Please help me. <laughs> This is actually is a really pretty island. All right, I found the wreck of the ship. So apparently in the wreck of the ship is the book. Uh, oh, found it. Checkpoint saved to inventory. All right, on the path of a legend. All right, do, is there an, an extra- Go in the book, there's new pages. So I'm assuming we have to go backwards through the, the journal. Throwing the chest overboard northeast of a shallow island now heading north. Okay, so we're gonna go backwards from here. So start south side of sea. sea yeah, seven. and then they went northeast. Past me near rock. Yeah, then they went north by northeast. Rounding fortified island now headed west by southwest. Okay, and then they've gone um, around it. Throwing the chest overboard northeast of a shallow island. So northeast of Cutlass K? Well, that's not how I would have followed it, but sure, okay, Cutlass K we go. I know I said earlier that the first few tall tales were really easy, but man, this is easy. Now we just need to get the Cutlass K without doing anything dumb. I can't control myself. <laughs> oh, it's on my face. <laughs> I can't see. All right, Cutlass K is to our left. Did you have to throw up on my screen? I can't see anything. <laughs> you throw I'm trying to stare the boat. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> <sighs> wow, 
Why did I say anything? Arriving at Colors K with only a minor case of being mentally scarred for life, we now need to look for a chest somewhere on or around the island. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's like literally right here. Ancient chest. All right. Do I open the chest? I have no f clue. Take pages. There we go. All right. Are we at the time? Did we? Yeah, no shit. Are these islands? The cave scarab hides near the island's tears. I know where it is, but uh, yeah. uh shroud breaker. What the? Stop giving me hieroglyphics. It's very, very hard to find. That's not. Oh, it's Crook's Hollow. Yeah, I literally just read the map. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was looking at the book and I looked at the map. I was like, hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, I was to it. I was like, I wonder. After going backwards and forwards with the notes that we had found for a lot longer than I would like to admit, we eventually determined that our next destination would be Crook's Hollow. So, Matt, I'm assuming we go on to Crook's Hollow and there'll be like a, a symbol on there, which I think we're looking for a scorpion. Along with the random sheets of paper, inside the very easy to find ancient chest was also a scarab totem, or as I like to call it, the beetle. TM. Somewhere on Crook's Hollow will be a wall painting of a scarab and nearby will be a vault. Entering the vault is pretty easy. All you need to do is place the totem on a pedestal that's nearby. Fortunately enough, I've been here before, so I happen to already know where to go. Ah, oh, I found it. <laughs> well, that was easy. All right, where do I put it? Um. <laughs> what does this do? Please. Oh! <laughs> you idiot. I was like, ah, oh, I hope they didn't write it in that <laughs> What does this do? Bro. You're on fire. I know I am. Well, it wouldn't be a normal video without somebody doing something stupid and us being exploded, now would it? Anyway, this would unfortunately start a very deadly, pun definitely intended, trend over the coming days with Ryan becoming more and more obsessed with gunpowder barrels to the point where we nearly failed the tall tale. But that's spoilers. Let's get back to this tall tale. I'm looking for the thing, like the totem where I place this down. Oh, I see it. Was. <laughs> I see it. Uh, okay, Ryan. Ryan? Please do not touch anything. <laughs> the Shroudbreaker vaults are very similar mechanically to the puzzles that you'll find in the ancient vaults, like the one we went to in this video. To start the puzzle, you first need to light the four fires around the central platform and then press the button to start the puzzle sequence. Uh, oh, Matt, I don't it, remember how, how this mean? works. As soon as you do, the door to the vault will slam shut and the room will quickly begin to flood. Now you're on a timer. You'll notice that there are four pillars at the front of the room and now they've lit up with symbols. What you need to do is spin the block of symbols on each pillar into the correct order and then press the button on the platform to input the sequence as your answer. For a total of three times to solve the puzzle. Okay, but how do you know what symbols you need to use? Well, if you look in your handy dandy book of clues, on the last page of notes you got from the ancient chest will be a page full of symbols. This right here is your answer to the vault. These symbols vary a bit from vault to vault, but the premise is still the same. Match the symbols in order to the corresponding pillars, hit the button, repeat two more times, and presto! You've now completed the puzzle. Uh, okay, I'm assuming I'm doing this right, even though I have no clue. Oh, that one's already right. That one's right. Wait, what? Did, Ryan, did you just happen to guess the right thing? I okay. Didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't touch anything. I did what you are. Okay, it's showing me the beetle rock that I saw before. And somehow Ryan has managed to accidentally solve the puzzle completely by accident. But hey, I ain't complaining. The faster we get through these, the better I say. Because you know, we wouldn't want this to take us so, I don't know, more than 17 hours, right? <laughs> uh, I hit it and it went dink. Uh, place. So I'm assuming I gotta do this more. Oh no, it, just, it tells me one at a time. Where the f is that? Ah, oh, uh, I'm assuming it's here. Yeah, this looks like it's it. All right, found it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm what? talking about. <laughs> uh, what, what, what the? What, what is this? Where? Oh, Matt, the last one's up near you. Yeah, no, that's why I'm here. <laughs> can, you, can you get it? What are we doing? We put the things in the thing, and now the thing will do a thing. Oh, rock. And then we get the Shroud Breaker. And then we take it back to the dude, don't we? Yep. Oh, that looks cool. And there we have it. We have now obtained the namesake of this tall tale, the Shroud Breaker. This little guy will help protect us as we make our way towards the shores of gold and cross the very real and very deadly shroud that surrounds it. Is it just me, though? Or does it look a little incomplete? I feel like there should be something in those gaps, right? Oh, well. I guess we'll find out when we speak to the mysterious stranger again. And uh, now, I think we go back to any outpost. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we'd probably go to any outpost, which um, Ancient actually, Spire is to our right, so we'll just go there. Um, 
Let me look at the map. We'll go to Plunder because that's where the next one starts. Oh, okay. Right. We'll just go to Plunder then. Oh shit, we're about to hit an island. Oh no, 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 no. All right, we're good. Crisis averted. What if I half pinned it right now? Please don't do that. Holy Please. shit, it's Monkey Island. No way. Monkey Island? Monkey island Early yeah. access? Real? Monkey Island? If I say Monkey Island enough and then put it in the video, this video will be tagged as Monkey Island. Monkey Island? Monkey Island. Monkey Land. Monkey Island. Monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey island. on my yeah. island. <laughs> yeah, monkey, monkey island. island. <laughs> All right. Monkey. Me when uh, the monkey is on the island. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Lock me in a room. Crazy? I was crazy, crazy? once. They locked me in a room. Up. A rubber room. A rubber room rats. with rats. And rats crazy. made me crazy. Crazy? crazy. Oh, crazy. I was crazy yeah. once. Crazy? They put me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats made me crazy. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. And rats ready to grab. Stopping. Um, do you want to guide me in? Uh, anchor, 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 anchor. Anchor. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Um, like well, shit. Matt, what are you doing? Uh, oh shit. Ah, oh, for f sake. Uh, all right, to the tavern. Wait, 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 wait for me. Ryan, get your bitch ass over here. I'm drunk. I don't care. You pull Hello, your Edward. weight on this ship. Hello, Edward. Shush, mother. You Hello. smell. All right, get over here, Matt. I love how this guy was like shit talking us before. Like, oh, you want us to go to the like the shores of gold? Oh, <laughs> good luck. We bring the thing. He's like, holy shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was not paying attention to most of what he said. Something about a skeleton captain maybe having the jewels. He said, I have eyes and ears. That's awesome. I'm proud of him. Finish our shores <laughs> of gold tail. There you go. Uh, uh, Xbox uh, thing. And with that, we have now finished the first of CD's original nine tall tales and the first of 11 tall tales overall. Honestly, I think that was a pretty alright starter. It was short and to the point, with easy to understand objectives, and no fluff or random bullshit to slow us down or get in the way. Being as this tall tale was rather simple, but still enjoyable, and it being the first one, I feel like this one is a solid C. Smack bang in the middle. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna be ranking all these tall tales as we complete them. With the Shroud Breaker tall tale complete, it's time to move on to our next tall tale. I'm sure this one will be just as enjoyable. Right? Right? Is losing his I'm mind. losing my shit. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, maybe consider smacking that like button. And if you want to see what happens next, make sure you subscribe by clicking on tap in here. In the meantime, while you wait for the next video, why not watch this video here? Or you could binge watch my entire CD series so far with this playlist. I'm now going to go mentally prepare myself for the next upcoming tall tale. Bye.